Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the War of My First Nations people and absolute pleasure to have you, your guides, my guides, and the universal energies with us today. Sorry, I'm a little bit late today. A, I got caught on uh, Denise of Spiritual Growth Tarot watching her live. Absolutely fabulous whatsoever. So thank you, Joy. And uh, running, um, I've emailed Denise uh, personally to see whether she can find my ring or not and we'll see how we go. I have said my prayer to St. Anthony and I have my little candle there burning away. Um, and... I then couldn't get my microphone to work so who knows what button I pushed to make it work but we're here at last. Now I've got a few things I want to have a look at today, stuff that's popped up in my news feed. First of all, absolute heartfelt heartfelt to uh, Java. Uh, the death toll is now just under 270 thousand which doesn't include the injured um, Australia has uh, promised assistance with that and I believe we will be uh, sending um, uh, specialist forces over as soon as we can uh, also to the Solomon Islands uh, they uh, uh, experienced two earthquakes there yesterday a 7 and a, a 7.0 and a 6.0 so quite horrific however there doesn't seem to be well communications are down so we're not quite sure what's going on apparently the uh, Australian High Commission uh, building the roof collapsed but fortunately nobody was injured so thoughts and thoughts and thoughts to um, those two places chills right up my legs so oh boy sending them as much energy as I have spare okay what I'm going to have a look at in this particular reading um, I will get to the progressives agenda and I will get to the future of Fox I have read on the future of Fox before but today what's really uh, jumped out at me is the uh, Supreme Court has advised that uh, Trump's taxes will can be head, uh, passed over to uh, the Congress Select Committee, what is it, the Ways and Means Committee, uh, to see whether there's any dodgy dealing. Um, have I think I'm pretty sure I've read on it before. <laughs> It's not particularly good for Trump, but we'll have another look at it. Um, I think what it showed, my previous reading, that there is foreign influence, money laundering, potentially Russian influence there. But we'll have a look. I've always, always, always seen that it's the IRS that will take Trump down financially. So that's Letitia James working with the IRS. Um, and it is the DOJ that will take him down morally. The Georgia um, <clears throat> Georgia court case uh, will take down others. I mean, it, you know, it's Trump as well, but it will uh, take down others ex um, in in its. Uh, oh, okay. What's come out here? Oh. <laughs> so for those who know me, know that um, when I'm shuffling and if I'm talking about a particular subject, then and cards throw out, I'll just have a quick look at those. <clears throat> it's given me three major arcana while I'm talking about what's going to take down legal system. They have everything at their disposal and there's going to be full illumination lit onto this investigation, full illumination. Uh, so that's um, three major arcana. Take note. Restriction. Now they threw out when I was talking about Georgia and talking about that Georgia would take down others. So if we think about who else may be involved, and I was actually thinking of Lindsey Graham at the time, mm. that might be interesting. Okay, tell me about Trump's taxes going to Trump's taxes going to the select committee. <sighs> there she is. Justice, tell me about Trump's taxes going to the select committee. Tell me about... That was four major arcana. This is actually a really big note. Tell me about Trump's taxes. What are they going to show to the Ways and Means Committee? Oh, boy, I've got stuff coming out everywhere. What's that one? Ooh! For those that know me, this is my money changing hands. It's not my dark money card, it's more a money laundering card. And then investigation. <gasps> Ooh, 
Oh, the IRS are going to be very interested in this. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Trump's taxes going to the Ways and Means Committee, I think it is. This is why it was so important to hold the upper house in the US. Still think, oh, yeah, clear the mind, clear that thought. I'll have a look at it right at the end. Okay. <clears throat> Is this for this or this for that? I was thinking when the, these stuck, and that's the thought that I cleared out, was, sorry if I'm leaping all over the place at the moment, was that the lower house is actually going to um, turn democratic. So we've got the have faith and messages coming forward. Oh, while I think of it, uh, when I talk about winter solstice, summer solstice, I'm talking about Australian, so you'll have to flip it if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, because I am in Australia. So our winter solstice would be your summer, 22nd of June. Um, and vice versa so I'll try to remember when I mentioned so when I was reading yesterday about the uh, the um, some information come, well some people not being in the lower house anymore by the winter solstice I'm talking about mid uh, the northern hemisphere midsummer okay try her back on track that was a real quokka that was a dozen quokka moments tell me about trump's taxes trump's taxes going to the congress i think it's ways and means committee trump's taxes trump's taxes trump's taxes going to the ways and means committee trump's taxes oh holy smokes hang on i'll have to pick that up <coughs> again oh okay <clears throat> come on down if I do cough I do apologize it's <clears throat> throat clearing been extremely windy here today dust pollen you know welcome to Australia okay let's have a look this is the one that fell on the floor and this is the one that uh, stayed on the table as my first signifier card. So swords, swords being a truth, it is absolutely a crossroads moment. It is now, so it's also a bit of an, a, a decision needing to be made, flux moments. It's, it's, the, um, it's a crossroads where they can choose either way, but they're going to need to take the blindfold off and actually make a conscious decision about which way to go with uh, the information they're going to have at hand. Tower moment. Right, combination with this tower moment, it, it's A, it's, it's uh, you know, the, the uh, crown getting exploded off the top and absolute destruction. But it's also very much about breaking down of systems that, or breaking down of what is currently in place and so that something better can be rebuilt. This is what I got with my Roe versus Wade reading forever ago as well. So it's very much about um, destroying what is so that something and, and expelling the, the um, ivory tower um, occupants so that something better can be built. So this is actually going to be, they're at a crossroads as to what to do with this information, but it is going to, okay, thanks guys. Um, what they're telling me, so for my two guides, Master and, and Narin, uh, Master is a uh, Celtic, Gaelic Celtic uh, warrior um, from Roman, Roman era, and Narin is a, um, spiritual healer first nations australian first nations um so where was i going with this what were you telling me guys what were you telling me oh it's gone completely um but yeah it is it is oh okay thank you so what it's about is that um the the senate committee is at a crossroads about how to actually use this information and what it's telling me is it's going to be some new legislation come through 
that is going to make it compulsory. Okay, thank you. So prior to Trump, it wasn't compulsory for uh, political uh, 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 president um, candidates, contenders, when it got down to the final two, to actually release their tax returns. It was just done. It was just considered the right thing to do. Um, and so therefore it wasn't actually legislated. It was just... Uh, this, well, they're finding a lot of grey area with the Trump era of stuff that was always done. It was done because it was always done, but they're actually now finding that they're going to have to legislate for it. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> foundation of this reading. Uh, now, these are my Golden Universal Tarot. Uh, foundation of the reading is an, a, a new start, a, a relationship. Okay, thank you. Not so much emotional here, but this is about a relationship new start, and that's what it's bringing about. Okay, past. The Emperor, Trump. Oh, okay. Did I pull that rather than the goo, rather than the Hierophant? I did too when those cards flopped out. The Hierophant, so it was the Emperor, Magician, Hermit. Okay, thank you. Should have looked a bit closer. So it was Trump, manipulation, under investigation when I was talking about Georgia. Okay, getting back on topic. Here he is in the past. <coughs> Lady Justice. Now, what have we got here? We've got three major arcana. The through line is justice um, at a crossroads with this tower moment and creating new a new beginning i think the us are just the voters are just getting absolutely tired of him but it is justice is coming actions and consequences wounded in retreat is the immediate future well yes we know that's going to happen for trump externally okay argy bargy in squabbling partisanship um so the republicans are going to outcry about it you can't release them it's like well why not if he's got nothing to them that have nothing to hide hide nothing so externally there's going to be outcry but internally there's going to be this harsh truth coming forward not going to be able to be avoided my destiny karma karma coming and biting you on the bum card um, this is all pretty standard for trump he gets this karma card all the time because karma is just, his, his actions are, are, are having consequences. Have hope and faith <clears throat> going forward. Again, we've got the Knight of um, Wands. The message is going to come forward. It is going to involve overseas dealings in the past. Going to prove burdensome. A lot of work going on behind the scenes, dotting the T's, dotting the T's, crossing the T's and dotting the I's from the lawmakers. <clears throat> There's going to be something unexpected be presented. Letitia, my Letitia James card. So it's going, okay, they're going to be working in unison with Letitia James. Okay. Things are being seen from a different point of view. We have my, uh, the prosecutors here. And we have the prosecutors. Okay. So that was a little bit of a story there. They are at a crossroads. Um, but it is very much a tower moment for how things have been done in the past and how things will be done in the future. Ah, did I want to ask anything? Okay, I'll just ask Pendulum. Okay, just bring you down a bit. I like to have my... Finger in view so you can see it's not me woggling away. All the chain needs to be in. Right. Good morning, guys. Good afternoon, guys. We're that late. Hey, can I ask a question, please? Can I ask a question? Will Trump's taxes be publicly released? Will they be publicly released? I'm getting a no. Okay, we're not going to see them. Will they, will Trump's taxes form part of the Letitia James IRS investigation? 
the Letitia James IRS investigation? That's a yes. Will Trump's taxes form part of the DOJ classified documents investigation? And that's a no. Okay, for those that know me, have always, uh, you would very well be aware <laughs> that it is the uh, IRS, the Tisha James IRS case that is going to uh, take them down financially uh, and the classified documents DOJ case that's going to take them down morally. Okay, if you want to know further, ask some questions and I shall catch you later. Look after yourselves. Love to you all. Bye-bye.